side by side, representing two toilets. <laughs> the stall wall between them, the two toilets, is imagined. A man sits on the far toilet with his pants around his ankles. He peruses his cell phone. A woman enters the restroom and enters the adjacent stall. She has a cell phone to her ear. So he just explained to me what an ilurophile is, and I explained how to pronounce it, and we agreed that we are indeed ilurophiles. The man leans down to see the woman's feet beneath the stall wall, then goes back to playing with his cell phone. Isn't that kind of amazing? I mean, who would think that a man would be secure enough to even know the word? I, of course, I mean, he was pronouncing it wrong, which I thought was kind of cute, but still, like, isn't that amazing? You're not even listening to me, are you? Really? Then what did I just say? <laughs> I said I glorify on the audio file. Then what? Then what does it mean? Go ahead, tell me I'm listening. Oh, oh my God, you are just as bad as Dad. I try and tell you about a wonderful conversation I had, and you hear about like eleven percent of it. It's offensive. If I didn't spend like nine months in your womb, I would be convinced that you're a man. The man pockets his cell phone and gets ready to clean up. He looks on the floor and sees a discarded toilet paper roll. <laughs> I'm, I'm still waiting to hear your version of the definition of the word. Hello? Hello? She snaps her cell phone shut but continues to talk to it. Yeah, go ahead and just hang up, you old clueless bag of snakes. Very classy. Just shut the world out if you don't know the answer. The woman throws her cell phone into her purse. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! Ah! Hey, quiet! I was just asking if you could pass me some toilet paper. Oh my god, what are you doing in here? Help! Help! I'm being attacked in the women's room! You shut up! I'm not attacking you. I'm simply asking you for a, a, a wad of toilet paper. Okay! That's disgusting. And I'm sorry to inform you, but you're not in the ladies' room, my dear. A second. How in the hell is it disgusting to ask for a wad of toilet paper when we're both sitting on the toilet? Okay, I don't know what kind of perverted freak you are, but I am in the women's room and it is disgusting because you are in there doing your business. And I'm too disgusted to even say the rest of what I was going to say. I am, however, going to call the police if you don't get out of here this very instant. Please do, but make sure to tell them that you are in the men's room. And ask them to bring along a roll of toilet paper. This is <laughs> okay. This is one of the grossest things I have ever encountered. Oh, no, please! I didn't ask you to climb under here and wipe my ass for me with your bare hand. <laughs> Honestly, you're that traumatized by sitting on a men's room toilet? Yes. No. No, I'm not traumatized. I am repulsed. <laughs> You don't see the irony in the fact that you yourself are sitting on the pot doing the same business. What, you're so self-deluded that you believe you're shit, you shit lavender petals? Okay! That is so completely offensive. How dare you assume that I am doing that? <laughs> that? I don't know what that is. What are you referring to? Number two. <laughs> <laughs> you mean shitting? No! It is completely ignorant of you to just assume that I am going number two in here. <laughs> For your information, women sit to go we as well. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but I do have a nose. So, if that's what your pee smells like, then I would suggest one of us call 911. <laughs> what are you? Does anyone, do you have any questions or comments about, about this, about how, how these social media uh, influence art or what influences it, it has it had on you? Yes? I do, but I'm going to post it on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it right now.